What is going on everybody? It is Nick Austin awesome Born Game here, bringing you a little bit of a short special video here. I'm not going to call it a series, unless of course you guys absolutely love the idea of this and I will make it a series down the road, but today's video is Born Gaming on a Budget. On a Budget? On a Budget! And uh, what today's uh, the game is, some of you may recognize, most of you may not, this game slipped under the radar. It came out in 2010 on October 5th, and I know that because I can Google called Enslaved Odyssey to the West. It's a little bit of a third person beat em up. I would, uh, you know, kind of attribute it to kind of like a, you know, guy. I, it's, it's like a little bit of a brawler. I'm not really gonna call it any like specific game. It does have a little bit of a parkour element. It's by no means as intricate as the Assassin's Creed series is. It's a very straightforward game. I'd say it's more often than not completely linear, which is more than fine by me. I like a game that just holds my hand and just tells me what to do. And this was just an awesome weekend of my life. I replayed this game, and uh, all it does is just put you in a room, either tells you like fight some mechs, or uh, in this scenario as you're seeing on the screen, it'll have you jump over some things. A little bit of parkour. It's normally like red and highlighted, so it's never very uh, deceiving whatsoever. Sometimes you kind of have to hurry it up a bit, and uh, otherwise you might like die. But then like the respawns are very generous, and uh, the checkpoints, like I was saying, are uh, not very strenuous whatsoever. So the game's not hard by any means, especially on the normal difficulty. It'll take you a solid 8 to 10 hours, and it's a very satisfying experience. And not only that, I think that the story is actually pretty damn good. The characters are really likable. There's only, I'd say, three main characters in this entire game and two of them are there for two thirds of the game and you'll really like them uh, the main character as you're seeing right now is actually named monkey and uh, that took some getting used to but he's just like this gigantic rip dude who just has like this insane strength and he can climb stuff and it's he's like he's really awesome to play as guys and he's actually pretty funny too and the other character uh, you might see I don't know if I put it in this video uh, is named uh, oh shit what's her name trip and she's like this really hot redhead chick who's like really smart with computers and she's awesome and they kind of have like a thing but they don't have a thing I don't know you guys gotta play it the story is actually pretty cool and on top of that the combat's very satisfying it's not the deepest combat you'll ever see there's not like a million like XXX Y A Y like combos anything like that it might be like a three or four button combo at most and uh, more often than not, you're just pressing the X button, and then every now and then you'll press the Y button. It's not really about the combat for me, though. It's more about the experience. And this game is just, like, the whole encompassing part of this game is just awesome. I wouldn't say that the individual elements are, like, above and beyond any other game. But I think it just does about everything so well that it just is a better game because of it. I checked the Metacritic scores just for fun. It has about an 82 right now, and uh, a lot of the reviews were very positive. I don't think there was one negative review on this game. One guy even gave it 100, so uh, whatever that means to you. I really think it's an awesome game. It's a beautiful game. You guys are seeing it in motion here. I never uh, experienced any frame rate drop. It runs on Unreal Engine 3, which is the same thing that powered the Gears of War series and countless other games, so it's a tried and true engine. The combat is in my opinion flawless in the, its simplicity and the uh, just the whole platforming aspect of it. Oh, and there's a little bit of puzzles in the game. It's nothing that's going to uh, make you go to Google. Maybe one or two might send you to YouTube for it, but um, once you figure it out, you'll be like, how did I not understand that? But the game's like I'm saying, it's very straightforward. It's not very hard to play whatsoever, and uh, more than anything, it's a fun game, and you can get two solid playthroughs. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> unprofessional <clears throat> you can get two solid playthroughs out of this game which I would say would be about anywhere from 15 to 20 hours and I uh, checked on Amazon this game's only like 11 or 12 bucks right now I'm sure you could go to GameStop and get it for less than 20 so if you have any gift cards lying around after the holidays this would be a great game to pick up it's a solid experience I definitely recommend it I would give it at least like a four and a half out of five just because the overall experience of the game is just so satisfying and there's a lot of epic moments like the one you're seeing on the screen right here there's also boss fights which are awesome um, like I said, the game's not particularly challenging, but it's always fun, and the story's good, and you'll like the characters, and you'll even laugh. Some of you with weaker hearts may cry, but uh, I'm not of the weak hearted, so you know. Uh, well, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for this series down below, or other games, or something, if you've played this game, I'd love to hear about your experience with it. But uh, until then, I'm Nick Olsen, Born Gamer, and this is Born Gaming on a Budget, and I'm out.